In this section, we'll discuss ignorable coordinates. So let's look at a concrete example to understand exactly what an ignorable coordinate is. So let's consider our uh, standby case of the central force problem. So we've got two masses that are tugging on one another. And you may recall that we can write the Lagrangian for this system in this way. So remember, r represents the radial distance between the two objects. Phi is some angle uh, indicating the positions as the two objects orbit one another. And so our kinetic energy is, is this. And then our potential energy is some potential energy u, which just depends on the radial distance between the two objects. And we can apply our Euler-Lagrange equation for the phi coordinate. So our Euler-Lagrange equation, remember, is given by this for phi. And we look at our Lagrangian, and we can see that there is no explicit phi dependence. So that means the right-hand side of this is 0. The left-hand side, remember this term here, that is by definition the generalized momentum for phi. And so the fact that the right-hand side of this equation is 0 means that p phi dot is 0. In other words, that p phi is a constant. And so this is an example of an ignorable coordinate. Phi is ignorable in this case because its conjugate momentum is a constant. And so that means that we can write the Hamiltonian by incorporating this constant. In other words, for the central force problem, our Hamiltonian can be written as a function of r, the momentum associated with r, and the constant k, where k is the phi momentum, which we've just worked out to be a constant. So it just comes into the equation as a constant. And so phi is an ignorable coordinate. This has a significant advantage over the Lagrangian formulation for this problem, where the Lagrangian depends on r, r dot, and phi dot. But phi dot is not a constant. So even though the, the momentum associated with phi is a constant, phi dot itself is not a constant. And so even though uh, phi is ignorable in both the Lagrangian and the Hamiltonian, um, in the Lagrangian, the associated veloc generalized velocity is not a constant. And so this is a tremendous advantage of the Hamiltonian over the Lagrangian. Uh, in many cases, you'll have a, a generalized momentum for a coordinate that is a constant. And if that mo generalized momentum is a constant, then that associated coordinate, in this case phi, is ignorable. It just represents a constant that's introduced into the, into the Hamiltonian.